How's the situation, Lieutenant Ninety? Okay, Commander Zero. Things are pretty quiet. How about Fireball XL5? Steve Zodak is due home soon, isn't he? Yes, Commander. He's standing by for XL9 to take over patrol of Sector 25. Well, get on with the job, Lieutenant. Check XL9's position. Sometimes he doesn't give you time to think. What was that, Lieutenant? Have you got something to say? Uh oh, uh, no, sir. I, I was just thinking out loud. Uh, Space City to XL9. Come in, XL9. Space City requesting position check. XL9 to Space City. We're on our way to Sector 25. To relieve Colonel Zodiac. We've run against a slight hitch, Lieutenant. The astroscope's not working. But the flight engineer will have it fixed pretty soon now. Roger, XL9. Report when you have established contact with XL5. Have a good trip. We sure intend to, Lieutenant. Over and out. What the blaze is this going on? Emergency! We're under attack! Returning to work! Another tour of space patrol duty nearly over. Yes, Stephen. Do I feel tired? Oh, guess we're all feeling the strain, Professor. Sleep in a spaceship is never so relaxing as on Earth. Fireball XL5 to Space City. Returning to Earth now. Receiving you loud and clear, Colonel Zodiac. But have I got a problem? XL9 has been attacked and is out of commission. Gee, Commander Zero, what happened? Well, a ship tried to immobilize XL9. XL-9 was about to start its space patrol duty. Don't tell me, I know. You want us to take over XL-9's patrol. Reckon the colonel can read your mind, Commander. Yeah, Lieutenant. How about it, Steve? Okay, Commander. See you in another three months. Set course for the nearest space station, Matt. We'll have to refuel. Uh, let me see. Yes, that'll be uh, Companion 12. Companion 12? That's one of the first stations to be put into space. Yep. Reckon it's old, all right. Well, as long as it's got fuel, it can be a million years old. Let's get to it. There's the space station, Venus. Gee, it sure is small. Yes, Steve, but it serves its purpose. Say, what's that spaceship on free float beside it? Check that ship out, will you, Matt? Uh, what's that? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, Steve, I, uh, I dropped off. Matt's getting to be as bad as your lazoon, Venus. Yes, Steve. Let's radio the space station. XL5 to Companion 12. Come in, please. That's strange. They don't reply. Say, Matt, have you found out about that other rocket? It's, uh, it's very old, Steve, but I, uh, I can't make out the markings from here. We'll move in closer and go to free float. There's something mighty strange going on here. Retros, Robert. Fire main retros.
I'll have to turn off the gravity activator, Venus, or Fireball will crash into the space station. Okay, Steve. Let's feed our magnetic soul plate. Magnetic soul plate's on, Matt. I'm going to switch off XL5's artificial gravity. <laughs> He's dropped off again. Let's see if we can wake him up. What's happening? Why, Steve must have switched off the gravity activator. <laughs> this sure is undignified. Better give him his magnetic soul plates, Venus, or he'll float about for hours. Now, come on, Matt. I want to take a look at that ship before we go across to the space station. Get the thruster packs, will you, Venus? Okay, Steve. Okay, ejecting now. Those markings. Yes, yeah, Steve, they, uh, they sure look fierce. Steve, Commander Zero said XL9 had been attacked by a ship marked SS Thor. These must be eight. You're right, Venus. Let's take a look at the cabin. I'll check the rear of the ship. How about the stern, Matt? Nope. No one here either, Steve. Okay, Matt. My guess is the occupants are inside the space station. Welcome to our humble abode, Steve Zodiac. 
We are honored by your visit. Come in, come in. Surely you are not afraid. Not the famous Steve Zodiac. Mr. Space Spy himself. I've been wanting to catch up with you. Let's get down to business. Well, what exactly is your business? One thing for sure, it ain't honest. Shut up. Will you shut up, Lieutenant Niney? XL-9 is coming into touchdown. I'm sorry, sir. I was just suggesting we alert the fire tenders. Now, you don't need my okay for that, Lieutenant. Get on with it and sound the alarm. City request emergency clearance for touchdown. XL9, you're clear. Bring that ship down here and start thinking up some good excuses, cause, brother, you're gonna need them. You got too much speed. Too much speed, XL9. Cut back. Fire retros! She's gonna crash! They've made it, Commander! They sure have, but they've ruined the launching pad. Why, I'd like to get my hands on the people responsible for this. I suppose you are responsible for what happened to XL-9. We needed a new up-to-date spaceship for the headquarters of our universe spy organization. But my stupid husband bungled the whole thing. But Griselda, my love, the XL-9 was better equipped than our old ship. Shut up! Always you have excuses. This time I handle it. We now have a new ship. Fireball XL5. And Dr. Venus is our assurance of this. If you harm her, I'll... Keep quiet, Zodiac. You will be our hostage. You won't get away with this. No, sir. What about the space station crew? <laughs> they are miles from here, drifting helplessly in the space cabs, and I have jammed the homing device. Now, Steve Zodiac... You will refuel Fireball XL5. Not you two. I'll need some help to refuel XL5. Very well, Zodiac. But remember... Any tricks, and the doctor and Professor Matic will be finished. <laughs> Soon every enemy planet will be rushing to employ Boris and myself. You will be stopped, with or without me, as a hostage. Okay, refueling completed. Good. We will return to the space station. After you, Colonel Zodiac. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Steve Zodiac? Your magnetic soul plates are coming off. I'll adjust them. You are up to no good, Steve Zodiac. Get ahead of me again. They are back. Keep moving, Zodiac. Do you think Steve has a plan to beat these two spies, Matt? Eh, uh, surprise me if he didn't, Venus. You know Steve. Are you ready, my love? Stop it! What has happened? 
Guess your magnetic soul plates finally broke loose, Boris. Please, Zodiac, Professor. <laughs> you two, fix his boots at once. And no tricks. Better take your boots off, Boris. Now get on with the work, Zodiac. Please, hurry. Being weightless makes me ill. Will it work, Matt? Well, I, uh, I hope so, Steve. It was quite an idea of yours. Are you sure those ropes will hold you, Matt? I hope so, Steve. Let's try, anyway. Uh, push the remote control lever. It works, Matt. Sure thing, Steve. Now, uh, turn the jets off. Oh, it could have been more gentle, Steve. You have been working on those plates for an hour, Professor. Uh, yes, Griselda. Uh, you're nearly through now. You have five more minutes to finish. Or I will finish your precious Dr. Venus. Take it easy, Griselda. We've nearly fixed the boots. Yes, we'd better hurry, Steve. She may harm Venus. Well, sir, Steve Zodiac's an hour overdue with his routine call. What? Well, then call him. Don't just stand there twiddling your thumb. He could be in trouble. Space City to Fireball XL5. Come in, please. Come in, XL5. On the free flow to my companion, the Twelve. I can only get a robot giving position by a space station, sir. Well, Lieutenant, XL-5 has got to refuel, hasn't it? Rockets don't run on willpower, you know. Yeah. Bet Steve's having a ball at the space station. The boys there sure will give him a welcome. And you're going to have a ball supervising the repairs to XL-9. And I don't want any rush job either. It's a rush job, Steve. I, uh, I sure hope it works. Okay, Matt. You did your best in the time. I've got the remote control box. Let's go. Hang on for a couple more seconds, Boris. I'll soon have your boots on again. No, my fair Venus. We will go across to SS Thor while Boris takes over Fireball XL5. I'm sorry to delay you, Griselda, my dear. Shut up, you fool, and let's leave. And remember the air supply in here. Of course. <laughs> you will soon be finished, Zodiac. And there are no oxygen pills here. Without your breathing apparatus... You have less than one hour to live. <laughs> now, Steve, quick, before he leaves the station. work, Matt. Yeah! Nice work, Matt. You did it. Don't worry, fool. I will get you back. Help me! You can never do anything right. I shall have to hurry, or Boris will be out of reach. Are you okay, Venus? Sure, Steve. That was some liftoff. You head for Fireball. I'll get the homing device working so that the space caps can get back. 
I can't get a rocket started, Boris. I'll switch on the gravity activator again, and then we can get rid of these soul plates. Sure, Matt. I guess Boris wishes he could do the same. Oh, look, there's Steve. Get in there! The space station crew should be on their way back now. Oh, fine, Steve. They'll soon repair the air systems. <laughs> systems. Go, go, go. Let's get on with that patrol. I'll plot the course, Steve. Eh. Then you'd better shout if you need me. I'm going to get some sleep. I'll make some coffee, Steve. I'll bring it into the lounge. Venus, even though you are a woman, you come up with some real cute ideas sometimes. See you in ten minutes. You know, Steve, I'm still smarting about that crack you made earlier on about being a woman. You know this is the 21st century. Yeah, I know, but... Just look what happens when the woman gets the upper hand. Can you imagine a world full of Griseldas? Me, I'd just give in. Men! 